Hi, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing well here as we greet the winter solstice uh, in the Northern Hemisphere. So, um, you know, here comes winter and all the hibernation and kind of uh, maybe time to soul search during the colder weather. So for this week's reading, I'm going to take a look at the awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of oracle cards um, as well. Okay, so we have Strength, the Major Arcana, and we have the Three of Swords. So Strength is a card of, um, it's really, it's having faith in yourself. And it's having faith in the belief in yourself that, you know, that you are wise enough and your heart is big enough to handle the setbacks, the disappointments, the challenges, the obstacles, whatever it may be. And so, you know, we, uh, we can doubt that we have strength to handle the heartache or to handle um, what happens within our life, illness, uh, loss of friends or family, whatever it may be. But in all truthfulness, we, we do have this amazing core of inner strength that we can tap into, that we can um, find a way to muddle through. So this is a beautiful illustration where the woman is kind of caressing the lion or hold, look, touching his mouth. He has his eyes closed and there's a, uh, certainly we can see maybe a sense of trust. It takes time to build trust. It takes time through honest actions of having a big heart. And so when we're thinking about strength, we're thinking about reacting to the situations um, with generosity, with kindness, and with gentleness. And with those qualities, you know, that's how you demonstrate real strength, is being compassionate, just having a soft touch, versus trying to force your will, or to be reactive, or to be impulsive, or to be angry. And that sometimes the gentle hand here is the way to demonstrate um, soft control and your strength. And so as you go through setbacks or if there's something this week that is um, a challenge or an obstacle, it's reach in deep to your heart. And so what's so interesting is I always think of the heart with the strength card and here's the three of swords which is three swords and a heart that's painful that hurts we know what that feels like it's just it can be for some it's devastating for others it hurts and it lingers and for others it's hard to get out of this feeling that you have been hurt whether someone has hurt you whether a situation has hurt you um unkind words betrayal, cheating, loss, you know, pick your poison. But three of swords is the three of swords. It's taking the hit and it's taking the emotional hit and it, it hurts. It's always a tough card to see because we're like, oh my gosh, my relationship is going to end or something terrible is going to happen. And it's really, we just have to take a step back you know, we deal with hurt a lot. It's part of the fabric of life is that we deal with the emotion of getting hurt and feeling sad. And what do we have to do? We have to find a way to process it, to bookmark it, and then keep turning to another chapter. Uh, turn to another page. Do what you can to rise out of this Ultimately, when we have pain like this, this is a learning experience. It doesn't sound so good at the time because you're hurting. But ultimately, when you look back, you're like, yeah, I learned a lot from there. And, you know, I'm going to be more careful next time or I'm going to, 
just chalk it up to what happens, you know, fate. So I think that the strength here, these two are connected for a reason, which is to like, um, give your heart a break, perhaps. Gentleness, kindness, compassion for yourself and for others. And um, it's remember that whatever happens to you, that you, you can handle it. No doubt that you can handle it. So we have the Princess of Wands and we have the Ace of Pentacles. So the Princess of Wands, we get a real sense here of the desire to live, to have fun, to be active, and to bring adventure. Uh, sometimes I think of it as maybe a of uh, restlessness and that you need something to get you on your feet and to feel that you're back in the game again. And so here, the Princess of Wands, it's like, go out there, make the call, do something, go to the meetup meeting, if it's about an art gallery or whatever it may be, go out there and, and do it. Start to socialize, start to meet people, start to pursue your passions and the things that you love. And you can see the glowing or the, the, the uh, bright red robe here or cape. It's get out there and begin to uh, get back to experiencing life, particularly if you've been hurting, if you've been feeling that you're stuck or, or unable to bring yourself back out. Again, remember, rely on strength. You can do so. Get out there. Have some fun. Live life. Take life by the reins. And then in terms of guidance, we have this beautiful Ace of Pentacles. The universe sending you a message, a gift or blessing, as we always say with Aces. And the gift or blessing is here's the chance for happiness. Because really that's what the Ace of Pentacles is all about. Abundance in life, but not just money and not just property or things. It's the abundance of spirit. It's the abundance of good health, of um, good luck and joy in what you do in purpose. Here's this beautiful coin. Here's the green rich um, lands all within reach for you. Although the pentacles would say, be practical, be smart. You have to take care of your ideas. You have to nurture those ideas. You have to feed them and bring them out along. And most importantly, you have to have some patience. And the reward will be there, but you have to put in the time and the energy and the thoughtfulness and the plan. And it's not going to happen in 24 hours. It's going to re require some focus, some dedication, and some patience. So I feel that uh, the movement is once we get past this little blip here, well, it's maybe bigger than a blip for some, uh, is that we have the road to happiness. We have the possibilities here of happiness. So I, I like this. I, I like that we have the Prince of Wands and then we have the Two of Wands. So the Wands are speaking up, which is get, you know, get off the couch, get off your fanny, stand up and go do something. Get back into the game that just keeps coming to me, which is the Prince of Wands here, dynamic, charismatic, uh, doing things spontaneously. Allow yourself to do those things. Allow yourself to have some fun. And, you know, whatever happens, happens. But be, be moving. You know, get back into activities that bring, uh, that bring you to life. So between the Prince of Wands and the Princess of Wands, here we have the Two of Wands, and the Two of Wands is looking out at the future and thinking about what's next. What am I going to do? You may be prioritizing. You may be having to weigh consequences or decisions that affect home or friends or family or career, T your time. And so this Two of Wands is about 
looking through those two wands at the portal about what's next in the horizon for you. What in the world do you want to do? What speaks to your passions? Here, you know, after you've cleared this out and you've appreciated that strength will carry you through, you have great possibilities for abundance and joy and adventure and experiences and connections, living life to your fullest. So I think that this is, um, I think this works into a very nice week for you. Let's see what we have in terms of um, a weekly affirmation. Rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. Clear the past. Allow your strength to help you clear. Go run out in the rain. Go play in the rain. Feel the freedom of doing so. And then finally, let's choose a card for love. Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. So, uh, again, being tuned in to people that you do love and being um, present enough to show how you give love to others. When you give love to others, you'll get it back. Friends, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading today. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.